We're back, people, and today we're breaking down film on Nick Herbig, Wisconsin edge defender, and he's your sort of typical Wisconsin outside linebacker that we see in almost every single draft class. Undersized tweener, not sure where they're really going to project to the next level, but they're just super advanced mentally, physically, like they play with such a high motor, very high effort, competitive toughness type of player. They're also quite athletic too. Usually the undersized part is what throws people off. They don't know where they're going to play at the next level. I see a guy that is clearly an advanced pass rusher, going to be a, probably a role player early on in his career. Um, special teams type of player, get him out there working as like, you know, a pass rusher in obvious passing situations, a QB spy, special teams guy. And then as his, you know, career grows if he can put on some strength some more muscle like I could see him possibly being, being like an off-ball linebacker too um, as he develops he has like the quite like the perfect size for it and then like on pass rush situations maybe come off the edge use him in like a versatile way don't just you know stick him in a box I love the versatility that he can play with and then just his pass rush moves he clearly rushes with the plan he goes with great tempo his hand usage is amazing just love these advanced players like they have a role at the next level hopefully he goes to a team where a defensive coordinator knows how to actually use him usually with these undersized tweeners they go to a team and then the defensive coordinators just don't even give him a chance to play like has no idea where they should go uh but nick herbig definitely a great football player that understands the game at a very high level in this breakdown, I'm mainly just going to focus on his pass rush ability. Uh, if I had all 22, I would have gone more into his run stopping. Like, his run defense is good. I just don't know if they're going to, you know, uh, give him that sort of role playing the run on the edge. Like, a lot of Wisconsin edge defenders can also play off-ball linebacker and also, like, set the edge. They understand what they're doing. But he sees this tackle right here. His first step, he has a nice quick first step off the line. He sees this tackle, you know, respect his speed because he has a lot of speed to win off the edge. You can see he sort of oversets. He gives him his hands. He starts with like a little foot fire. Shoots like his hands are, you know, going to use this speed to power. But he sort of just throws him off. Wins to the inside. Get a nice little club spin move or club swim over the top to get that inside, you know, leverage right there. Quickly wins. He has moves on moves. He loves to use speed to power. Cross chop to win off the edge. And he also has that inside counter move. Uh, sets this up really nice with his footwork here attacking the outside half and then winning back to the inside half shoving him off with his hands knows how to use their own leverage momentum balance against them and he's really good at finishing like and he also gets a lot of strip sacks as well he's got great awareness in that area but finishing for these sacks is such a big uh part of the game like you can really change a game by just getting that ball out at the point of attack and herbig has really really high instincts Another example of Herbig just winning first the pass rush, but this time to the outside with just speed, and he just really understands how to beat offensive tackles. He finishes again, obviously. You can see that he has some strength there, but look how just low he gets. He stays low the whole time. He's got the, you know, the leverage advantage versus this offensive tackle. He sets this up and then gets really low, shoots out his hands to, you know, keep this space between him and the offensive tackle, and then he just turns him, opens him up, is able to maintain his speed while really low which is hard for a lot of you know edge rushers when they get really low to maintain that speed and he just you know gets down forces this offensive tackle to get off balance because he can't get this low bend as low as herbig is right here and then he just works through the contact turns this guy open wins to the outside edge here really impressive play and then <laughs> you know probably gets a horse collar there but impressive play nonetheless from a process standpoint can win in so many different ways he's look how he, he always has a plan too like you can tell like he looks like he might hit his cross shot like his sort of signature signature cross shot move and then maybe even work back to the inside at this point and he's just throwing him off and now he just gets his hands out there to completely you know he knows he has this rep one at this point because he can't get hands into his chest so he can just turn open him up and finish at the quarterback sometimes pass rushing can just be really simple just if you're going to win to the outside beat that outside hand and he has that athleticism to bend, get to the quarterback. He finishes a lot of these reps really well, like always getting that sack. But just getting that outside track, he sees this tackle doesn't have the athleticism or, you know, doesn't really overset. So he just swipes that hand to the outside cross chop. And then you can just see the lower body flexion in his ankles bend to, you know, soften this corner, get around the edge, and then finish. He has some nice length on his arms too, uh, better than you would think for a size like there's always these Wisconsin edge defenders, you know, like Zach Bond, uh, Andrew Van Ginkle, uh, Vince Beagle, those types of players who have been like 
have had decent careers so far like some of them are still pretty young too but they all have a role at the next level like and i feel like if given the opportunity he can be a really solid role player early on that could be just a quality defender that starts for your team in like two three years down the line another play from herbig winning with his cross chop he loves to do like this sort of like hop into his cross chop i think that you know people have been calling like the superman cross chop how he just you know wins you can just see the pure burst off the edge that first step is super important and then you know give the hop as you're cross chopping to the outside like this is really efficient like he understands how to win like his feet combined with his hands he uses his whole body to to just win now he chops that hand down on the outside now he has the full outside track to get to the quarterback and you can just see the lower body flexion in his ankles to bend to corner to get to this quarterback really impressive and like just look how low he's saying the whole time too like when you're this low it's so hard for an offensive tackle who are typically you know like six five six 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 seven uh, especially at the next level to get that low and get hands on you you just swipe them away like it's nothing and then finishes with the sack on the quarterback again because he does a great job of winning quickly and then not working too far past the quarterback and he has that athleticism to bend get to him finish uh, another high level pass rush move from nick herbig this michigan state game they try to even give some help with the tight end of this side to you know sort of slow him down with his initial rush but he still wins with just pure speed off the edge and then hustle and motor to wrap up the quarterback and finish like from this spot you might think you know he might try to win to the inside just if this tight end wasn't here i'm sure he would have tried to win with this counter move to the inside because this tackle gets quite like look at all this room they slide to the right and then you know, have this tight end sort of slow him down with like a check and release and then this tackle with him one-on-one -on -one in space he has all this room but he has this outside track and he really trusts his athleticism. Look how he sort of like dips this shoulder. Um, looks like he might try to shoot the left hand and then dip the shoulder. Kind of like a ghost move, but not not 100%. He doesn't go for it fully committed. But just when the inside sort of rips underneath. Now once this once the offensive lineman's hands are to his back, he's kind of won this rep. And now he can just bend, corner. Like this offensive tackle still could possibly, you know, widen him if this quarterback steps up. And he's still able to just stick with it the whole time love the effort love the athleticism the pure speed off the edge love that he can just win in so many different ways last play then breakdown we got herbig first iowa i wish i could have showed more plays from this game if i had the all 22 i had so many plays from this game uh but it was harder to you know get good broadcast view of it but just basically his signature i feel like the superman cross shop he won with this rep so many times in this game and then set it up and won to the inside just won in many different ways like that is a thing of beauty his pass rushing plan he's so precise with everything that he does tying the feet with the hands chopped with the right hand down on his outside hand wins takes him down look how like look at the body of the offensive lineman with just that one move completely takes him out of the play and now he's bending flipping his hips towards the quarterback he understands you know how to get to him throw that right uh, elbow back like I know a lot of edge defenders are tired like once you win here throw your inside elbow back this forces your like hips to open which is how you bend like even if you're not the most athletic guy you can still win technically by like just throwing that right elbow back which he did which allows him to open up his hips very uh easily he and he's also the athlete to do it so just so many different moves in his arsenal that he can really do like he has the speed to power he has the cross chop he has the rip he has just winning with pure speed like i think you know a lot of these undersized guys go a little under the radar but like he plays bigger than his size i would say it's just can he hold up at the next level and i just feel like nfl coaches have not given a ton of wisconsin edge defenders a chance to hold up but like a lot of them have when in their opportunities still been productive so i think nick herbig will be fine at the next level still be a productive edge defender i also would wouldn't mind seeing him playing some off-ball linebacker at some point in his career he's got that versatility i've seen it on the film so if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time peace, peace, peace.